Hi everyone. In this lesson I'd like to look at how we can square radical expressions. Now when I have 3 plus the square root of 7 squared you should think that that's similar to squaring any binomial x plus y squared for example which would be x plus y times x plus y. I just need to uh, turn that into a FOIL problem and when I do that I'll get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now as when we were squaring binomials we do this so often that we don't want to have to write this out. You always can if you absolutely have to but you'll do it so frequently that that uh, we want to uh, be able to go from this step right to here. And So notice again that that when I square a binomial I'm going to end up with this first term squared and then I have uh, this term times this term for the middle term and that that's doubled. Right? I multiply the x times the y and, and then multiply it by 2. That's 2xy. That's the middle term. And then the y squared is the last term. So if I do that same thing here I'd want to square the 3. That's going to be 9. And then I want to take the 3 times the square root of 7. That's 3 squares of 7. So in my mind I'm seeing 3 squares of 7. And then I need to double that. I need to multiply it by 2. So that's going to give me 6 square roots of 7. And then I'll take the square root of 7 and square that. That just gives me 7. All right. So I'd like to go from here right to this step right there. And then I can combine the 9 and 7. That's 16 plus 6 squares of 7. Now notice that is the same thing that you'd get if you just went ahead and multiplied it out like this, right? The 3 times the 3 is 9. You'd get 3 squirts of 7 for the outers. Another 3 squirts of 7 for the inners makes 6 squirts of 7. And then the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is 7. All right? This would be our answer. Let's do it on this one. So if I were to square this binomial, I'd, I'd want to square the square root of 3x. That's just 3x. And then I want to take the square root of 3x times the negative square root of 2. So that's going to give me a negative square root of 6x, right? I can combine this square root with this square root. It's going to be negative. Uh, I'll get six, the uh, square root of 6x. But then I have to double that. I need to multiply that by 2. And notice that the 2 goes outside the radical. And then when I square the negative square root of 2, that's just plus 2. And I can just, uh, there's nothing to simplify, so I'm really done there. Again, just notice that that is the same thing I would get if I multiplied that out uh, all the way. Right? The square root of 3x times square root of 3x is 3x. And then this would give you a negative square root of 6x. And the inners would give you another negative square root of 6x, which makes negative 2 square roots of 6x. And then the negative square root of 2 times the negative square root of 2 is a positive 2. All right, let's do one more like that. If I have 4 plus the square root of x minus 3 squared, I'm going to square the 4. That's 16. And then I'm going to multiply the 4 by this square root. That gives me 4 square roots of x minus 3. And I want to double that. If I double 4, that gives me 8 square roots of x minus 3. And then I'll want to square the square root of x minus 3, which is just x minus 3. In this case, I can go and combine now the 16 and the minus 3. So I'm going to end up with 13 plus the 8 square roots of x minus 3 plus x. OK. And let's just, again, just multiply this out uh, longhand. And just to verify that those are exactly the same. Okay, so the 4 times the 4, the first ones give you the 16. I had 4 square roots of x minus 3 and another 4 square roots of x minus 3. That's where I got the 8 square roots of x minus 3. And then the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of x minus 3 is just x minus 3. Combine your terms and that's correct. Okay, let's do one last example here. It says f of x is x squared, and we're asked to evaluate f of the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3. So remember that this is a notation that means uh, when I plug x into this function, 
this tells me the formula what to do with it. In this case, I'm just simply going to square. This is the function that squares whatever you put into it. And so this is saying to put into this square function this number that's the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3. Notice you could do this on your calculator. You'd get a decimal value, but uh, I have to leave it like that if I want to describe it exactly. So f of the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3, if this is the square function, that just means to square that. So I'll have the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3 squared. And so that's another one of these problems, isn't it? I just need to go ahead and use that, that special rule or formula. I'm going to square the square root of 6. That's 6. I'm going to multiply the square root of 6 times the negative square root of 3. That's a negative square root of 18. And then I have to double it. Okay, and then I'll square the negative square root of 3. That will give me plus 3. So notice that I can simplify the square root of 18. I can take the 6 and the 3. Let's go ahead and combine that. That's 9 minus 2 square roots. And let's write 18 as 9 times 2. So I get 9 minus 2. Square root of 9 is 3. I'm left with a square root of 2 inside there. So my final answer here would be 9 minus 6 square roots of 2.